Hello everyone, uh, welcome back uh, to the lecture number one. That is the in this particular lecture we will see the different DC to DC converter topologies with their basic. Okay, so uh, in the introductory lecture we have seen uh, that uh, what is the flow of this playlist, what topic we will cover and everything. So this is the first lecture. So let's get started with this. My name is Ashish and this playlist is on MATLAB simulations in DC to DC converter. So the different topologies which are available with us in DC to DC converter are bug converter, boost converter and bug boost converter. These are the common well known topologies available. Apart from this there are some several other isolated topologies are also there but we are not uh, covering those topologies in this series we are specifically talked about these three topologies and we will do MATLAB simulation on these three topologies only so let's get started with the buck converter so this is the uh, uh, figure of the buck converter you already know you may familiar with this kind of figure where one diode is there and one switch is there right so such kind of configuration we called as a asynchronous buck converter what we call asynchronous buck converter when this diode is replaced by another switch we called such a configuration as synchronous buck converter so in this way we generally represent either one is a switch another is a diode or both are switches right so this is the way buck converter is you already know this thing and uh, the nomenclatures are as follow sometimes we write down v of t as a output and v naught as a output Okay, so both these things are same, you just uh, don't confuse in this. Vg represent my input DC supply voltage. Okay, now we will move forward. Before moving forward, I just want to say one thing that what is the difference between the synchronous buck converter or any boost buck boost converter and asynchronous buck boost or buck boost converter. So let me explain what is the difference now difference lies in the inductor volt current so if you see the inductor current profile if it is a syn asynchronous in nature so initially inductor current get charged and if the inductance value is low it will be discharged and it will touch let us say zero point okay so if it is a asynchronous buck converter meaning that if diode is there so what will happen diode will not allow to flow the current in the negative direction so what it will do it will restrict it to the zero value so till that time my inductor current value is zero and then it will increase again right so and then again fall down likewise the nature of inductor current is increase of asynchronous buck converter or any kind of converter but when we talked about the synchronous configuration when diode is not there another switch is there so initially inductor current get charged then with whatever value of inductance we have it will be going to discharge so it is discharged and touches to the zero point and if the switch is there in place of diode in synchronous configuration current is allowed to go in the negative direction so current will go in negative direction and then once another gate pulse is received it will get charge again so this negative negative current comes into the picture when the synchronous configuration is there so now uh, we will move forward So uh, these are the circuits uh, when switched at position 1 and uh, the B circuit represent the circuit when switched as position 2. So how to analyze any DC to DC converter? 
so voltage across the inductor is a key to analyze any dc to dc converter what you have to do you have to put this switch on position 1 one time and find out the inductor voltage second time put the switch on position 2 and find out the inductance voltage at the position 2 okay so you just have to know how to apply the kvl just apply the kvl and you will get the inductor voltage equation so inductor voltage equation is a key to analyze any dc to dc converter second more important thing is the capacitor voltage you should know what is the capacitance voltage at that time when switch it as position 1 and switch is at position 2 so if we plot this when switch is at position 1 what is my inductor voltage vg minus v d represent the duty ratio sometimes we may refer it as capital d and uh, sometimes we may refer it as a delta both represent the same thing that is a duty ratio t on by t so this is the waveform and we know from our basic knowledge that the from the waveform we know that key average inductor voltage is always equals to zero this is as per the volt second balance equation so if we apply the volt second balance equation here what we are come to derive that v naught equal to vg into del that is output by input is equal to the duty ratio this is the first important expression we have with us for the buck converter this is a basic expression you already know this now moving forward i am telling you what is important for us when we are uh, actually going into the matlab simulation what result we required what things we need that is only we are talking about so next is basically uh, L and C design for the buck converter so for designing the L and C very basic thing we have to follow for any kind of circuit just take either on duration inductor voltage or off duration inductor voltage replace this inductor voltage expression with the what is VL we know L DIL by DT and then integrate it now why i have put on the il minimum to il maximum as a limit basically we are in the on duration so keep these two things in mind which i am going to talk to you right now when i talked about the inductor voltage inductor current inductor current always increase from some value that may be zero as well sometime or it is some minimum value to the maximum value up to the T on point ok so up to the T on point it is always increasing and from T on to T off it is always going to be decrease so that is why I have kept the limit as IL minimum to IL maximum because I am in this particular reason second thing you have to remember is about the capacitor voltage so capacitor voltage if I am talking about so capacitor voltage always decrease during the up to the on time so if you talk about the on time so capacitor voltage is always decreasing from t on to complete t it is increasing so when we are coming in this particular case where capacitor uh, integration limits are required we always put from the maximum to minimum value it is in decreasing nature okay just keep this thing in mind and this other thing you know already how to do so I have just used this expression and then I have just kept the limit and calculate the value of the L so when we do the MATLAB simulation that time you use this value or 1.5 times 2 times the inductance value which we calculated using this particular formula for the buck converter so this is the inductance calculation now we will move for the capacitance calculation so capacitance calculation we already know that delta v naught is delta il by 8 fsw into c so from this expression we can easily find out the capacitance value delta il by 8 fsw into delta v naught ok so this is the formula for the capacitance calculation now two things you have to kept in your mind that so while considering the ripple that is delta IL or delta VC 
consider 10 to 30 percent of current current ripple in the inductor current and consider maximum 1 to 2 percent voltage drop in the output voltage so generally 20 percent 30 percent ripple is there in the inductor current and if you talked about the maximum uh, voltage ripple so you should consider up to 1 percent only because we need our output to be well regulated so we don't need the very high fluctuation in the output voltage so that is why maximum 1 percent 0.8 percent you should consider okay so this is all about the buck converter what is important thing we have learned here that uh, what is the voltage gain ratio v naught by v in what is the formula how to calculate the inductance value and how to calculate the capacitance value now we will see the boost converter so the boost converter is shown in this fashion you already know and this is the uh, well known uh, boost converter which generally you see one uh, switch is there one diode is there that is a asynchronous boost converter what is this uh, voltage here shown this is not of our use as of now but this voltage is a gate pulse gate pulse meaning the duty ratio gate pulse we will give to the this mosfet or any switch so that it will on and off based on this uh, basically we will get the desired output right so this is a basic boost converter we know now these are the two circuits uh, basically when switch it as position 1 and switch is at position 2 how to analyze the any dc to dc converter we already know just write down the two expression for vl when switch is on that is at position 1 what is the in voltage across the inductance and when switch at position 2 what is the voltage across the inductance then plot this VL VG and v, uh, basically for DTS duration and D dash TS D dash is basically 1 minus D and D is my duty ratio then I am going to get this waveform now I am applying my volt second balance and using the volt second balance what I am come to know that V that is output is equal to the VG upon D dash that is my voltage gain V by VG is 1 upon D dash that is 1 upon 1 minus D so in DC to DC converter duty ratio is very much important duty ratio is a key to do any sort of MATLAB simulation okay now we will go in same way for calculation of the inductance and capacitance what we generally take that any expression for the inductance voltage you take then VL is replaced by DIL by DT L into DIL by DT then integrate it and calculate the value of the L this value we will used when we uh, go in the MATLAB simulation what I said use this value or take 1.5 to 2 times of this value so that our uh, output voltage or input current our in current should be uh, most nearby constant value so accordingly we take the inductance similarly we can calculate the capacit uh, basically uh, capacitance value how to calculate consider the any on or off duration find out the IC IC is by capacitance current so when you see the circuit this circuit what is the value of the capacitance you can see that IC and I0 both are in opposite direction so that is why what I have written down IC equal to minus of I0 and limits of you see DVC by DT that is VC maximum to VC minimum what is the reason that I have already discussed with you then DVC so reason I have already told to you and accordingly delta VC take 1% and calculate the value of the C I0 how to get the I0 look when we go for any problem solving approach we generally what people have or what we have we have the output P out we have ok so output we have and V out requirement we have ki how much output we required so from this particular we know the relation between the I0 P out and V0 and accordingly we can get the I0 so from this we can set the capacitance value same thing applicable to the capacitance as well take the capacitance uh, one time two times uh, according to our constant output voltage ok then third configuration is a buck boost converter this is the 
bug boost converter we already know right so this is the uh, this uh, uh, you know this uh, bug boost converter will the negative output how it will give the negative output i will show you so this circuit you mostly familiar with bug boost converter so when uh, basically switch is on that is the mode 1 it is written here so when switch is on what is going to be happen same thing we will apply that we have to find out the value of the vl so find out the vl replace vl with the ldil by dt and you will get the first expression okay so delta l it is calculated similarly when basically the diode is on switch is off that time same thing we will apply what is the value of the vl we calculate vl replaced by ldil by dt getting v not and delta l open i am going to get okay so from this expression or previous expression i can easily calculate the inductance value you just think okay how to calculate inductance value i have already tell you so you can easily relate all these thing so by applying the volt second balance we can find out that v not by v equal to minus d upon 1 minus t so this is the uh, output expression that is the voltage gain expression for the my bug boost converter so its output is negative we can put some inverting circuit in front of the bug boost converter to get its output as a positive but it need some additional so inverting bug boost configuration is also possible which we are not seeing here so we just need this expression so what is the value of the voltage gain for the bug boost converter how to calculate we know similarly we can find out the inductance design so we have this expression delta il close is equal to the v in by l into the dt you know and from this how to get the value of the l you do by yourself okay i i have already told you similarly for c design for c design i need to find out the ic value either in on duration or the off duration so when switch is on i know i not equal to minus of ic how what expression it is it is just similar to the boost converter okay and after that replace ic with the c dvc by dt and then do integration and you will get the capacitance value so this two exercise you will do by your own so so thank you uh, this is all about this video so hope you enjoy this video and these are the references which i used so if you need to go in much more detail about what i have taught you can refer this so stay tuned for the next video in the next video we will discuss about the state space modeling so till that time thank you